to my channel so on today's video I will be doing something I'm gonna try this as much as possible to do it quick something easy looking fresh beautiful flawless makeup so I wanted to do this for a beginner so this thing should be easy for you guys and don't worry I'm not gonna add any falsies which is lashes or a cat eye but if you love this look if you want to incorporate one of those two things or those two things go ahead that's your call but I wanted to do this for beginners and yeah so if you guys want to stay tuned for this makeup a tutorial back to school continue watching so first things first I'm gonna use my Olay complete as you guys know that I love this stuff so I'm going to grab some product and I'm going to dot this all over my face I'm not gonna do anything harsh. I just want something natural. So I'm gonna use this pencil. This is by Wet n Wild in the shade uh, Chocolate Brunette. Looks like this. So I'm just gonna go lightly on my brows. So now I'm going to grab a spoolie just to blend everything together. So as you guys know that I like to use two things. On the top I love to use foundation and then on the bottom I'm going to use concealer. And with it I'm going to take this angled brush. This one is by It's Cosmetics and this one is in the number 217. And I'm going to grab my concealer and this one is the Maybelline Sand Sable number 20. And I'm going to apply that on the bottom a little bit. So now I'm going to apply two primers. So this one I'm going to apply on my T-zone and this one is the NYX Cosmetics Photo Lover Primer on my t-zone want a little bit more of that dewiness to give it that beautiful flawless finish look with my foundation i'm going to use this nyx cosmetics honey do me up primer all over my face gonna let this soak while I do my eye makeup look so now for the eye primer I'm gonna use this Milani this stuff is good if you guys haven't tried this this stuff is good it keeps your eyeshadow in place all day long so this one is in the shade nude 01 and a little bit goes a long way guys palettes and this one you can find it at the wet and wild aisle you can find these at walmart cvs drugstore you name it so this one is in the palette not a basic peach looks like this and this one is the sweet as candy so now i'm going to set my eyes and i'm going to use this shade right here on the top of the palette so with it, I'm going to grab this blending brush, and this one is the Morphe M441. Tap the axis. So now for my transition color, I'm going to grab this shimmer but this one does apply a little bit of matte but is in between so i'm gonna grab this pink peachy color and with it i'm gonna take this morphe m537 tap the excess so you want to apply this all over the crease color I'm gonna use this mini palette 
and I'm gonna grab this pink eyeshadow shade and with it I'm gonna go with this a small blending brush and this one is number three by BH Cosmetics bone I'll be taking this vanilla beautiful shimmer color that's right here on this palette and with it I'm gonna take this flat small brush by elf cosmetics blend and pat at the same time and now I'll be taking a clean blending brush with no product on it and this one is the B Bella cosmetics and G323 Now for my lid color, I'm going to take this beautiful gold shimmer color that's right here on this palette and with it I'm going to take again this small flat brush by e.l.f. Cosmetics but I am going to wet this brush. two foundations that I want to talk about so I know first day of school it's a little bit hot humidity in the morning so I really truly recommend these foundations if you want to try these because these actually fight with humidity I really truly recommend these foundations so this one is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte and I am in the shade 106 and this one is the infallible pro glow number 208 sun beige and this one is sun beige as well so i truly recommend these foundations again these fight with humidity and they look very very beautiful on the face but i truly recommend these for the first day of school but first and foremost i want to say that this looks very very beautiful if you want something natural beautiful glowy not too harsh on the face as a foundation i really really love how this looks very natural on the skin it's just amazing with this foundation and this one is the l'oreal true match w5 sun beige love this stuff i didn't know what these two foundations do so this one actually gives you like a medium coverage so this one is more like a dewy flawless makeup look and this one does give you a very matte sheer makeup look but what i am going to do i'm going to mix these two together and then i am going to dot this all over my face grab my damn beauty blender but I'm going to add a little bit of setting spray because it's a little dry now and that's foundation if you guys are wondering what's that I'm trying to take it off but I can't and with it I'm gonna use this Maybelline Fit Me concealer number 20 San Sable now I am going to contour my nose with this L'Oreal True Match and this one is in the shade N678 medium deep and now to contour the outer side of my face I'm gonna use this Fit Me Shine foundation this one is by Maybelline this one is in the shade coconut number 355 looks like this 
this stuff. It's amazing. It kind of reminds me of Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. And again. to do my contour areas. So not to set and bronze my face, I'm gonna use this Cookie Cosmetics um, Powder Contour Palette. This palette, it's amazing guys. I love everything about it. So I'm going to grab my It's Cosmetics angled brush and I'm going to grab these two shades right here to contour the outer side of my face. to contour a little bit on the nose I'm gonna grab it this shade right here get this flat brush and this one is the number five by BH cosmetics and with my finger I always like to blend this very very well so now to set my highlighting part I'm gonna use these two shades right I'm gonna take this elf cosmetics stapling brush I'm gonna take this blush that I always always love I cannot get enough of it it's one of my favorites and this one is the mellow wine I had this for three years guys I, I cannot get enough of this blush it's really pretty a little bit goes a long way guys just a little bit and with it I'm gonna take this blush brush by real technique just a little tap because this one it is pretty pigmented so you gotta be careful as you guys can see so on the side and remember if you don't have bigger cheeks you always have to start from your apples of your cheeks on the sides but for me as you guys know that I have a little bit of you know cheeks I always like to start on the side doing this on the other side and what I have left over I like to distribute this finish my eye makeup look so now I'm gonna finish the under eye in my tear duct but first I'm gonna go under eye which is my bottom lash line and with it I'm gonna use this shade right here and this one right here mix those two tap the axis and with it I'm using the blending brush and this one is the number two BH cosmetics blending brush <music> highlight my tear duct I'm gonna take this vanilla again I'm gonna use uh, this Morphe E36 brush so the mascara I'm gonna use my favorite mascara so this one is the Remo London Accelerated Advanced Mascara and this one is in the shade Extreme Black waterline so first let me point this out so this is just a tip so if you want something for your eyes to expand out even more I truly recommend to use any varieties of pastel colors like this one is this so this one is at the NYX cosmetics so this one is in the shade seashell so this one is a pink white pastel color as you guys can see I recommend pastel colors using on your waterline but if you want to use a white one I really don't necessarily use a white 
one because I feel like your eyes are, is going to expand out even more. But if you want something like chill, nice, or something subtle, but you want your makeup to look very nice and fresh, I truly recommend like a pink pastel one or a blue pastel one or a yellow pastel color. But I truly recommend these for your waterline. This stuff, it's amazing. They're so creamy, by the way. But yeah, so that is just one of my tips and tricks if you guys wanted to know and what I think about white colors on your waterline but yeah so now I'm going to apply this on upper and lower waterline so now for the best part I'm going to highlight my face and I'm going to use this by Fergie so I haven't used these for, for a while so this one was actually the first highlighter that I ever bought I still love the shade of this color but let's see how the way it applies on my face but this one is in the shade um, Rose Champagne Glow this color is just beautiful I just love everything about it take the Morphe M535 I remember I fell so in love with this a shimmer highlighting glow ever since it came out. So. And I love that this feels very subtle. Very natural on the skin, as you guys can see. I don't know if they, if they still have these around, but if you guys see it, I truly recommend it. So you guys can see that glow. The tip of my nose, on my bridge, a little bit on my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin, side of my brows. So now for lips, I'm going to use this lipstick and this one is by Rimmel London and this one is in the shade Candy number 220. Looks like this. It's a beautiful shimmer pink pastel. It's just beyond beautiful and by the way, they smell so delicious. On top of it, I'm going to use my favorite. I just love this stuff. I cannot get enough of this. If you go through my purse, you're always going to find on each of my purse this gloss. This gloss has to be a must for me. So this one is the Strip Down Color Joint. And this one is the Maybelline brand. I love this stuff. And by the way, it smells delicious. It smells like cupcakes. And it looks like this. And again, I talked this. I talked in one of these of one of my videos that I love this so much. It looks like this. It looks very subtle, very nudie, and at the same time, it's glossy. Now that I'm done, I'm going to add a little bit of this Milani Make It Last. Again, this smells delicious. And now I'm going to take my beauty blender just to blend anything that I left behind, any patches. So this is the final look. I hope you guys love this video. Again, this is something fresh, on the go, beautiful, flawless, back to school makeup tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and share. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. And also, if you haven't subscribed down below, please subscribe down below and hit the bell notification. That way you guys won't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much, guys. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. Oh,